All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to our AJ Author new user webinar for August 5th, 2021. Uh, I'm Tobias Torejo, and I'm the AJ Author's backend developer. I'm covering this month's webinar for the wonderful Jessica Frank while she is on vacation. Today, we're going to talk about the just-in-time learning features that AJ Author has built in. These give authors the ability to give their end users additional information or help just at the point in time in the interview in which they'll need it. It's one of the unique features of AJ Author that really make a difference for end users. Before we get started, a couple of reminders. You are all on mute. If you have a question or want to chat, uh, please raise your hand and I'll unmute you. Otherwise, put your questions or comments in the chat box and I'll make sure to check those as we go along. Also, this webinar is being recorded and will be posted to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash a j author. If you're a new author, we recommend checking that YouTube channel out. It has a lot of videos for learning different parts of the authoring software and even has a comprehensive five-part series of everything a j author. Uh, so, uh, found some tips and tricks. Um, so if you're using PDF templates with uh, non-Roman char characters that say Arabic or Vietnamese or Japanese or Urdu, uh, well, in PDF templates, we found out that uh, the only supported fonts that will actually render those characters right now are Arial or Times New Roman. We're working to enhance that, but right now, if you ever have a problem with that, if the character's not rendering in PDF templates, use this probably the fonts. So on our agenda today, uh, we'll be talking about Learn Mores, how you can add text, graphics, and videos to supplement your questions, uh, your question text, and how you can take advantage of the accessibility features we've added to AJ Author. Uh, we'll also cover pop-ups, which allow you to provide definitions of legal terms to your end users. We'll talk about hyperlinks that let you direct users to outside resources, how you can add audio. And finally, I'll show you some unique use cases demonstrating these just-in-time learning features in real-world examples. So first, let's talk about Learn Mores. The Learn More feature works well for answering questions or addressing issues that are better left out of the actual question text. It allows authors to anticipate the difficulties an end user may experience in completing the question and provide them with additional re relevant information. The Learn More feature inserts a prompt which appears as a thought bubble to the right of the user's avatar. When the end user presses the Learn More button associated with the bubble, the avatar guide displays a response using one of the three following question help methods chosen by the author of the interview text, video, and or graphic. The most common Learn More used by is, is a text-only box. The author anticipates a question that the end user may have and then answers it for them, but only if the user clicks the Learn More button under the prompt. The example here is a safety alert. The author didn't want to crowd the opening screen of the interview, which has introductory information and other warnings, but they wanted to make sure the end user had this safe browsing information right at the beginning of the interview. This next example is providing that just-in-time information to the end user. The question asked that, uh, what county in Iowa the end user lived in. The author anticipated that the end user may not know their county or may not have understood that this AJ guided interview was just for residents of Iowa. The author used the Learn More to provide end users with ways to look up their Iowa County and also additional resources for out-of-state users. Sometimes it's just easier to show the end user where some piece of information is or where they need to sign. So it's a great thing that learn more support graphics. Like the example shown here, in the interest of accessibility though, you should also include a description of the graphic for users using a screen reader. This description has a 100 character max limit. We'll talk about we'll talk more about uh, taking advantage of AJ Author's accessibility features shortly. While AJ Author does not place a uh, file size restriction on images or videos, there may be upload limits on the server where you are hosting your AJ guided interview. 
Uh, you need to check with your organization for any file size restrictions. Thus, authors may wish to reduce the file size of the graphics and video well, where possible. To reduce the file size of, of the graphic, first you're probably going to want to crop the image in order to remove any unnecessary portions of, of the image. In addition, there's a number of free online resizing programs that are available for reducing the size of programs. Uh, and if you want to get more advanced, you can uh, increase your compression and play around with how, how much quality you want to trade off with your graphics. The final type of Learn More is a video. The video initially opens in the Learn More modal uh, window, but the end user can enlarge the video to full screen. In addition to the full screen normal size option, the Learn More video includes a pause play button, the ability to rewind or fast forward by dragging the video control bar, and a mute button. There's a section of the question design editor devoted to the Learn More. The Learn More prompt is typed under the Learn More info section in the space called Prompt, which appears below the question text section. And the response of the avatar guide is typed in the field res uh, labeled response. Text can be bolded, italicized, underlined, block quoted, indented, outdented, have bulleted or numbered lists, and include hyperlinks or pop ups as well. The editing toolbar appears when the author clicks into the response text box. You can also add audio to the response. To do so, you'll add an MP3 file to the audio field below the response field. Well, while the AJ Viewer has been developed to meet WCAG compliance standards, there are still things that authors need to do to, to make their content as accessible as possible. For Learn Mores, here's a checklist to follow. Uh, include a uh, text alternative to an audio clip. You can add audio to a page's question text section for or learn more section, both as space for a text alternative. A text transcript for video clips. You can add the text transcript to, to the text transcript field under the video upload field in the question design editor. Uh, you can include a graphic alt text tag. Ideally, they should be less than 100 characters and not include any special characters. Currently, special characters will be stripped out of the label. The graphic alt text field is located under the image upload field in the question design editor. Consider sign language for videos um, to make this a little more accessible. And label media and learn more as supplemental or alternative text. Uh, there's a media label field where authors can type in supplemental or alternative. Let's talk about pop ups. The pop-up text feature allows for a dialogue of help text to be displayed when the end user clicks on an underlined phrase. Thus, the pop-up feature works in a similar fashion as a hyperlink. Pop-up links appear as an underlined word or phrase. Here is an example of a pop-up that defines the terms of petitioner and respondent. These are common legal terms, but the average end user may be unfamiliar with them. To associate text in a question or text in a learn more help with a pop-up feature, first create the pop-up. This is done on the Pages tab at the top of the screen. Click the new pop-up button and uh, then a list of all the created pop-ups uh, will be at the bottom of the Pages tab. To edit the, uh, the new pop-up, double click on it. This will open the pop-up design window. Here, the author can type the text of the end user. can type the text that the end user will see when the click on the phrase selected in the next step. Authors can also change the name of the pop-up, add notes about this pop-up, and audio clips to the pop-up. To add a pop-up to the text of a question or a learn more. Highlight that word or phrase that you'd like to like the pop-up to cover. Then click the P icon within the text editor. A list of the available pop-ups will appear. Select the one you want to add to, to choose and then click change uh, to click change. Close the text box. Your pop-up will now appear as blue underlined text in your question or learn more. 
Note that the text in the pop-ups can also be formatted to include bolded, italicized, underlined, or have block quotes, uh, hyperlinked word or phrases. It can, it can be indented, outdented, and can include bulleted or numbered lists. You can even have a pop-up within a pop-up. We have sample exercises uh, for this that you can use to practice adding pop-ups to an interview. You can find it under the Learn tab on ajauthor.org. Then down in the sample exercises to learn A to J author section. This exercise includes step-by-step -step instructions and screenshots of the process. It is a relatively short sample exercise and should take you about 30 minutes to complete. Now, hyperlinks. Hyperlinks can be used to link a word or a phrase in a question or a learn more prompt to navigate an end user to external content that is accessible through a normal web browser. A hyperlink is created by first selecting the text to be hyperlinked, then the hyperlink format, uh, clicking the, the hyperlink format button, or to the chain link icon is selected, uh, followed by entering a URL, you know, a web address in the pop-up that appears near the top of the page. And there's one more piece of uh, multimedia that you can add in, in your guide interviews, which is audio. Within each question, learn more and pop-up, the author can add audio to enhance the AJ guide interview for their end users. Notice an audio field and an upload button in each of the, the text editing locations for the above types of text. By clicking the upload button, authors can browse the computer's files uh, folders to search for the desired audio, um, an MP3 file. Double clicking on the desired file will attach this MP3 uh, to the designated audio field. This feature is less prevalent now that we have uh, made enhancements for screen reader accessibility, but it's still an available option within AJ Author. The final agenda item today to discuss is unique use cases. The next couple of screenshots come from a New York AJ guided interview. The New York court system puts out their AJ guided interviews as part of their DIY forms project. And I've been a strong user of AJ Author since the early 2000s. One of the unique ways that the New York courts use AJ Author's just in time learning features is to make their interviews multilingual through the use of pop ups. They employed this technique early on in the old Flash based version of AJ Author. They create a pop up that duplicates the text of the question and then include the word Espanol or Francais. Uh, in the question text as the pop-up link. This is particularly useful for their court-based kiosk system where the end user may have assistance from a navigator or a family member or a friend who is more fluent in English. The English-speaking person can read the question, but the Spanish or French-speaking user can also see the translation. It's a unique way to have a single interview in multiple languages. They only have to manage one interview and make any necessary changes in the one interview file, rather than having entire interviews in English, Spanish, and French. As you can see from this New York interview, there's no limit on the number of pop-ups within an interview. Authors can include as many additional resources for their end users as they need. All right, so that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, talk, we can talk about it here. Uh, but as always, you can feel free to reach out to me or Jessica uh, with any questions that you have as the month goes along. Uh, our emails are up there, deviceitalia.org and jessicaitalia.org. Uh, and thank you very much for attending. Uh, so, any, any questions? Yeah. Or we can talk about uh, any issues you have with uh, authoring right now. Or any comments.
or any thoughts? And yeah, you can feel free to type in the chat. One more can have a video of one of them. I'm sorry, Luigi, what was your question about pop up? Do you have a question that just says pop up? Can you elaborate on why can't a pop up have a video? Well, actually, I'm not even sure if that's if that's true <laughs> um i would have to look at why a pop-up can have a video i have to explore if that's actually is that what you're observing or actually i'll send you so you're unmuted uh have you actually tried doing that i have yeah i haven't tried doing that uh but Luigi? I haven't tried uh, um Oh, sorry. I was muted on my side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I noticed in the um, UI that you showed um, on screen that the pop-up doesn't do video. Now I'm looking at an actual pop-up. The pop-up only seems to have text and text audio. I was wondering if there would be some value maybe in unifying the, the um, what's available in a learn more in a pop-up. Mm -hmm. I don't see any technical reason why they should be different, right? Because they show up in the same screen in real estate. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't. I can't think of a reason why. Why it wouldn't be? Yeah, it would be. A, it sounds like it would be a good feature. Um, there any other questions or concerns uh, all right if there's no other uh, questions or concerns I mean can you ask a question if you have another question about uh, any other projects you're working on or any other issues uh, we can talk about that too we have some time But if there's nothing else, um, that's really it. Uh, and again, feel free to contact us. Um, and thank you again for, for attending. Um, so yeah, y'all take care.